So I said I'd show you a feeding routine. So here, Mum is just putting out there. So this is their kind of cereal mix. It has got a bit of molasses in there as well. So it's got all the vitamins and some of the vitamins, vitamins, vitamins and minerals that they need. We also add a they have a loose mineral in there, and they have um, Mum quite often adds a little bit in this as well. So what she's adding in there is some chaff hay. So we have three different varieties. We have an apple ch apple chaff apple apple chaff, um, a herbal one and also a molasses chaff as well that we sometimes give them to just it's just something it's just a filler basically but fill it up make it nice and tasty for them um so this is what we've given them so far and then we've got all this fruit and veg that we mix throughout all of them so freya which is one that's in the blue one she gets two scoops all the babies get one scoop each at this time obviously they've already had their morning feed and they've had a little top up after mum's cleaned them out she usually gives them a top up as well and yeah and these guys have got uh, basically black black sunflower seeds is what we just added because it's a good source of protein for them um, and also they've got some treats and we also add because we obviously we have the boy who's over there who's standing up on the on the um, stable there being a naughty boy as he is um, we add some ammonia chloride the actual food has got a good balance of um, calcium and phosphorus but just in case, just to make sure, prevent any um, any um, calculi. Sorry, the door just hit me with the wind. Um, prevent any calculi building up in his urinary tract. He, we had that to, his, to their food. We don't give it to Annie and Heidi because obviously the boy generally doesn't eat from their food, so they don't need it. Um, they obviously have less than the other guys. They only had one scoop each because obviously they are a little bit chunky. So they have mainly hay and just a little bit of the, the grain. And then Annie has bright water because she suffers really badly with um, bloat. So we've tried, I've tried doing kind of the homemade recipes and things like that. It just wasn't working out very good. So we actually just give her some gripe water and they get some treats. And Annie has literally one tooth left at the front of her mouth and that's it. And she hasn't got any more. So she, mum sometimes when she does give her treats, um, she will cut them with the, with nut crackers. There you go. Thank you for demonstrating that mum. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got that so this is basically this is what they're going to have this evening and I'll show you maybe at the other half of the video what we're going to do in the morning tomorrow okay so this is the, this is the sheep food they have a different mix it looks very similar to the goat one but it's got a different um, different like composition and everything like that so they basically get one scoop of the mix and then they have again they have some chaff and then they have some seeds and then they're just gonna have this as a topping on top um, they it's basically just leafy veg some apple some pear sometimes today I think he's got the apple is it apple pear and cabbage pretty much okay there we go so mum's gonna give that to them when I just go and take the milk in I'm just putting the birds to bed I just thought I'd show you this lovely sunset that's going on right now it's very pretty it's not quite as bright on the, um, or quite as dark on the film, but in real life it's very, very pink. The goat the sheep are just going up to bed to have their food, and I'm just about to put the birds to bed. So the other big chickens are still out, and the other, these guys, little bantams, are in, so I'm going to put them to bed and then go and do the other ones since they're still thinking it's still a bit too light for them to go to bed. It is about quarter past five at the moment so we're definitely getting lighter longer but it's starting to go down the sun's definitely gone so it'll go dark very soon okay so now we're back to the morning again so mum's just put all the minerals and the ammonia chloride in there for them so these guys get the minerals too but they don't obviously have the ammonia chloride because the boy doesn't go in there to eat it's the same as they were last night so the same kind of quantities so two two for Freya one for everyone else and they've got their um, black sunflower seeds, their chaff, they have the apple chaff in the morning. It doesn't really matter which chaff they get over time, we just give it to a, a little bit of a, a bit of a um, treat in there to just we can reduce the amount of grain that they're getting and up the amount of basically fillers and hay and stuff. Obviously it's more a natural diet, what they would be getting naturally. Obviously they, they're browsers so they eat the, 
the trees and leaves rather than the grass. They will eat some grass if they have to, so they can't find anything else to eat. So we just give them plenty of fruit and veg just to kind of top that up. So this is what they've got today. The sheep will be getting just a variety. Oh, where are those? That's melon and stuff, is they? Oh yeah, there you go. That's what they're having. Okay, so we're just gonna go and give these guys some food and milk them. They're hungry, waiting for it. It's just started raining, which is beautiful. And then I'll go and let the old birds out once they've finished the milking. So in the winter, I give the ducks and the chickens um, some extra corn with some mealworms in it, just for keeping them nice and toasty warm. So that's the only thing extra I add in the winter compared to the summer feeding routines. So the rest of it's normal, so just the fruit and veg, um, a little tray of scratch and the layers pellets, and then just some fruit and veg. So I give them some leafy greens, so I get some spinach, some rocket. Um, so they, today they had some watercress, um, and then they have um, some berries, so they had some blueberries, some strawberries, some blackberries, some strawberries today, um, some pomegranate seeds, and that's the main things for their food today. Oh, a piece of sweet corn, obviously, that's what they absolutely adore, especially the duckies. Um, these guys like it too, so I'm just giving them some of the corn as well. So they're running over because I think I'm going to give them more. You've already had it. So you've got it here, and then obviously their food over there. So they've got watermelon today. I've tried giving the ducks watermelon, they will not eat it, they just leave it. So there's no point giving it to them, obviously, because they won't eat it. So they eat, but the other guys absolutely adore the watermelon. So I gave them some yesterday, and they've got a bit of honeydew lemon as well. Honey lemon, sorry, melon today as well. Um, so again, they've got some watercress and spinach, a bit of rocket today, a bit of lettuce, and then they've got the peas and sweet corn, and the same berries. So they've got blackberries, blueberries, raspberries. They're all loving those. And then these guys, I think pumpkin must be in laying an egg. I got an egg from the, the Aracana, which is licorice. Um, didn't have got one this morning from squash, which is that one there. And uh, pumpkin must be in the box because she's not out here. And she normally always, if there's any food, she runs straight out. So she must be laying her egg right now. So you got some little birdies coming down too. Little robin. I don't know what the other one is. It's kind of maybe a sparrow or a finch. These guys eating away. You'd never know the actual grass here before. So, Mum's just coming out of the summer house. So, we've got the loppers there because I've still got that tree to finish in the garage. And I think I'll just show you quickly the sheepies are down here. Hi! Are you enjoying some hay? So they've got their little field shelter down here so they can get out of the um, rain and the wind and the sun if it's too hot down here. But these little guys over here, they've got their hay rack and they've got an automatic watery down there as well. Um, and they get the same, same as they got this last night when I showed you last night in the scoops, they got the same thing. A little bit of veg, a little bit of fruit. Um, obviously only a little bit. Most of their diet is obviously the hay and hello baby is the hay and hello OT, hello OT, hey, good girly, good girl, good girl. You've got seven and stuff. Look a little porridge, your mama. She doesn't come over for cuddles, only little oats does. Even the barley over there, he's standing up. He has been here his entire life. He is still a bit scared of us, isn't he? So these guys have had for just over a year now. Aren't you? So, a uh, little porridge here, which is this one there I'm looking at. She is a pure South Down. These guys are South Down cross uh, grey faced dark moors. So they're very woolly. To say they're crazy amount of wool. If I just kind of show you, see if I can show you a little bit. I'm not even down to the skin there. It's like crazy. Hey baby, good girl. So she is actually quite cute and will come for cuddles. No one else does. Do they? No one else has cuddles. She will actually come right up to you. She is really cute. Won't you, baby? She will actually take food from your hand, too. Won't you? I can't quite reach you, though. Your head's a bit low down now. Hey? So, so these guys are going to be sheared off again. 
here. Um, so kind of like we had it at the very beginning of June last time, but we were crazy warm last year. So um, we'll see how it's going to be like this year. I might try and see if the uh, guys will come out end of May. Let's try and get them early since obviously last time they were literally done on the 1st of June and the mama there might have actually did have slice strike already. You were okay though, weren't you? You were okay. A little, little squash just come over. Hey, okay. good girl. So these guys obviously can stay out here. They just come up here to have a munch of the hay. They're liking the new hay I got them. Right, I'll head back up with the eggs. These guys are just being cleaned out and they just had some fresh hay and they're all tucking in. But somebody was naughty earlier and knocked some of the veg out the front. We'll just wash some of it to see if they'll eat some of it again, otherwise it's just wasted, isn't it? New bramble. Yeah, you're just gonna eat my eat my trousers. Everyone else is munching. You're missing out, missus. Sorry, so these guys always have a, a fresh hay all the time, even though they cry in the morning that they've never been fed and the evening. But they've got hay all the time. They've got mineral blocks in there, they've got the the kelp, which is a seaweed. They've got their um, they've got the minerals in there, which is the same thing that Mum's been putting a bit in with their food. And they've also got the bicarbonate of soda, which is if they've eaten a bit, eaten a bit too much, then they basically get bloated, and then that is a natural source of them to be able to fix it, basically. So bicarb goat minerals and the kelp or the seaweed so they have that all the time and they have obviously the automatic water right here they have a bucket just because bramble's a bit silly about getting water from there and then they have the two mineral blocks so they have obviously one which is the molasses one but we started to get this other one which is this one because that one was about less than four quid for 10 kilos, this one's five kilos for a nine pounds something. And that one's a generic one. This one's actually specifically for goats. So we got that. They obviously, they prefer the one with the with the sugar and molasses in it, obviously. Hello. Did I scare you all? Yes. Hi, maybe. No, take it in. So this is their top up so they get this after mum's cleaned the stable the other guys don't get any grains or any of the cereal mix they only get um, some of the chaff hay and the some of the treats and that's all they get they don't get any of the actual grain because obviously they're quite chunky so they don't need any extra bits so this is uh, Freya is the one who gets the treats and the babies gets a little bit of treats as well in this bit but they only get how much grain does Freya get in that one mum? She's will get two or you'll get one. Oh no, Freya is it right? Yeah, but they all eat it. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what they get now. So mum's just cleaned that stable out. So she's just finishing that and then she'll let the other ones out. Yeah, and the babies get that as well. They will eat them whole, but mum just likes to... Mum likes to baby them, don't you, mum? Yeah, my babies. <laughs> oh, we have a we have a, a little bramble come in to visit. Okay. She wants to go before anybody else. Oh, uh, uh. oh naughty! Oh, you! Nah, stay out for a minute. Stay out for a minute. It's exciting, isn't it? Okay, Ramble. The absolute Ramble. You can't get in, my knee's in the way. He's in the way. You can't get in. We're nearly done. It's gonna come to you in a second. Ah ah. Oi, oi. Sneaky. Sneaky my right. Come on. Reverse, reverse. Reverse. Ramble, move.
for a sake. They only they got fed like an hour and a half ago, maybe. <laughs> and they're still like, yay, we want more food. So these guys are shut in while the bigger guys are then let out for their stable to be all cleaned out. And then, but they'll just get some chaff and a little bit of the, only like a couple of the horse cheeky things. But they get very excited about it. There's no grain for them though. They will eat, if there's any left over right here, they'll eat a little bit. But that's it. Good out. Yeah. And I put my head over and they've managed to do this. They put the lick inside one of the buckets from this morning. I don't know how they do these things. And they've also, Pooped in the water, which is gross. That one's truly cat. Oh yeah, it's you floated in there. Hey guys. Okay, how do you do it? They have to like aim and everything. And yeah, that's good enough. So they have this lick here. I have noticed them they were actually having a bit of a, a lick of it just now. So once the molasses ones are gone. There won't be any more. So you having a good drinky? You pooped in your own, didn't you? So they have this water out here for um, in the summer or in springtime. We shut the stable so they don't go in there. Because otherwise they, they just stay in here and they don't like coming up. But when it obviously in the winter when it's raining and it's a bit chilly, we do leave one stable open so then they can go in and if they want to. They are lazy, especially these two. They are lazy, which is why they're a bit chunky right now. So normally, they should have a nice triangle here, which she doesn't have, because she's a bit chunky, aren't you? Hey, it's a bit chunky. You're dripping the water everywhere. And Missy's Heidi here is the same. She's not quite as bad. She's got a bit of a triangle, but she's just gonna say, she's the one that has all the rough coat She's, she's been good, good, she's letting me stroke her at the moment, but she just, she needs a good brush. But when I get to come near her with the brush, she just runs off. She'll let me kind of just about wipe her down, but that's about it. Like if I get too, too much, she'll just run off. She's been quite good right now. But her actual coat condition is fine. There's no, it's not that bad, but she's just a bit funny, aren't you, little one? It's all dead fluff. Dead fluff. She was quite good then. She let me actually stroke her for quite a while. Yeah. Trying to rub it off. But it's funny though, because obviously her twin sister is there. So I don't get any of that. So it's a bit strange. And these guys are all munching away still. Bless you. Hey, baby. We've been having some of that molasses. You know, you got lipstick on. Got molasses lipstick. Yeah. Let's see the close-up on your nostril. Nice. What do you got on your head? Hey. Good girl. She's lovely, aren't you? Old lady, but she's lovely. She is definitely the queen of the herd, though. She will still head for everybody, don't you? Don't you? Good girl. So the little quailies, they get a little bowl of their fresh fruit and veg, which they just scatter around, which they've got this morning. They get a top of the sand in the sand pit. They have a little scoop of scratch. Someone's laid an egg in the sand pit. I've only uh, taken out three this morning of eggs. Um, I just make sure the water is nice and clean, and they have the quail food topped up. So there was no quail food in the video that I did yesterday on what we normally buy because basically they don't have any quail food at the food store that I get the rest of the stuff from so I have to buy that online so I get it from a company and then get it sent over so I've ordered some which should arrive today actually so it's the same brand as the actual um, layer pellets that I get from there but they just don't they don't have enough people who have quail to warrant them buying more in so I get that online from elsewhere. So basically one seven and a half kilo bag. I usually get two at a time just so I've got plenty in. 
Um, it's cheaper to buy two of the seven and a half kilo bags than a 20 kilo. So I just do that and it's like six pounds, nine P a seven and a half kilo bag. And then I just have to pay for it to be uh, shipped over. So it's like 3 99 I think. So it's like 16 pounds something. And these guys will keep going on that amount of food for ages. So I think, I can't remember when the last time I ordered food was. I think it's probably maybe September, October time. Uh, I will definitely double check that and have a look if it's different and I'll write it on the screen if it is. Um, and then so these little guys are happy. They'll be in here until about March time when we're happy that it's not going to freeze outside. And then they'll go back into the igloo outside. I'm going to recover the igloo with more of this A3 mesh before they go back outside though. So that'll be in one of my videos coming up. But these guys are happy. They're still laying even though we haven't been having the lights on in here very much. Um, just literally in the morning and the evening when we're doing the chores. So I so said these guys I can do before the sun comes up in the morning. So I'm going to be working the next um, three days or so. So normally, actually, I only work every one in five weekends. So which is this weekend is one of my weekends. So I'll be doing the morning routine and then mum will be putting everyone to bed at night. So that's what's going to be going on. I've just brought doing some more sewing and the, we call them loppers, I don't know what they're actually called. They're, um, they're just ones with the longer handles, so like secateurs, but they've got long handles. So we'll be doing this in a bit once we finish cleaning out the goats.